Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know it's All City Live TV. Thank you for tuning in. There are a ton of people receiving errors trying to get their face scanned, whether it's on your mobile app or on your console when trying to upload. We're going to tell you everything you need to know to make sure that you guys get the perfect face scan. Let's get to it. Okay, so firstly, guys, we're going to talk about some of the things that you can fix outside of your typical face scan guide. Now, if you're receiving an error on your mobile app or you're having trouble uploading to your console, you may want to consider the megapixels that are on your phone's camera. For instance, I have a 12.2 megapixel rear facing camera on my phone, but my front facing camera only has 8 megapixels. Each time that I went to scan my face with my front facing camera, I received an error. But each time I used my rear facing camera with 12.2 megapixels, it went right through. So megapixels are definitely something to consider when trying to get your face scan to work. And for those of you that don't know, a megapixel equals 1 million pixels. Pixels make up the resolution of an image, so you want to get the highest number of megapixels in whatever camera you're using to create your face scan. I'd recommend doing a Google search and seeing how many megapixels the camera on your phone has. And worst case scenario, borrow your friend's phone, borrow a family member's phone. Just get the highest number of megapixels on whatever camera you're using for your face scan this year. Next thing you want to do is make sure that your face fills the entire capture area. I see a lot of face scans online where you know their neck is in the capture area. You want to make sure that your face is filling the entire capture area. You know there are key points that the face scan feature is trying to capture and these key points are going to be your eyes, your nose, your lips and if you do not have your face filling the entire capture area accompanied by a camera that has a low amount of megapixels you're going to receive an error either on your mobile app or when uploading to your console. And next we're going to talk about having a friend hold the camera for you while taking your face scan. This will probably be more beneficial as rear facing cameras have a higher amount of megapixels. So having a friend take the face scan for you could help you out tremendously. You also want to make sure to turn your head very slowly during your face scan. There's a green meter at the bottom of your screen that fills up as you turn your head from side to side and you may accidentally skip a bar as you're turning ahead. And if you do skip a bar, on your way back just make sure to slow down in that area and have the meter fill up before you continue on. And lastly, we're going to cover some more typical face scan techniques. So you want to make sure that you scan in an area with sufficient lighting. Natural light during the day is preferable but not required. You also can try in a bathroom where the lights work well, but you just gotta make sure that your face has even lighting from the front with as little shadow as possible. You wanna look directly at your camera. Even as you're turning your head to the side, you wanna make sure that your eyes are set on the camera and not on the phone or screen area. Um, you want to rotate it slowly in a 30 degree angle so that it can get the angles of your face. Be sure to move your head and not the device with your camera. Remember that your face scan is trying to capture 13 types of face angles. So you want to make sure that you have sufficient lighting, a high megapixel camera, and that your face fills the entire capture area. I hope these tips help you to get your face scan in NBA 2K20 and be sure to check back here for NBA 2K20 content. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to click on that subscribe button, share the video, like the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Easy, y'all.